everyone. Welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd. Um, and, well, I'm back here with Stitch again. And uh, the escalate continues of what's going on with the car. Now, we've kind of deduced it to two things. And I bought both just to be safe because, you know what, screw it. Let's just do it that way. It cost me a lot of money, but it's their upgrades that are going to be needed for the future for when we do the other stuff. Um, so, as, I mean, if you've been following along, um, you'll know that my car is equipped with a 200 inline 6. Uh, last week we um, did the carburetor um, upgrade. So we swapped from the Holly 1 barrel to a Motocraft 2100 or otherwise known as an Autolite because it was rebuilt by them. Um, and it just wasn't running quite right. You know, it was running very rich, it was bogging all the time. And it wasn't great. So, um, I went back up there yesterday and, you know, he took a carburetor part, cleaned it out, put, uh, found another carburetor with slightly smaller jets. They had 55 jets in them. We put 50 jets. So hopefully that'll do the trick now. And it seems like it's not running rich anymore, so that's good. Um, and then we also put uh, new spark plugs in it, uh, some NGKs this time and uh because they're better for oil fouling uh compared to the autolite coppers but there's nothing wrong with an autolite copper they're a fantastic uh spark plug but the ngks that's just what we went with and hey he paid the bill i wasn't gonna complain at all um plus a new cap and rotor because i bought a cheaper cap and rotor in the past and it just not did not work very well um um from rock auto and it's just like sometimes rock auto is fantastic and other times you know it's just like it's cheap for a reason. It just depends on what you're getting, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like that, that cap and rotor, um, they were already, don't get me wrong, still usable, like you can clean them up and use them. But we just went with a blue streak instead. So honestly, and it looks better under there too with that. And then, actually, I'll pop the hood and show you guys what that looks like now. And it's a cool little upgrade too because these blue streaks are a better cap and rotor setup than what I had. Plus also it's blue. See? It looks better. Like it was gray before and it just did not look as good. Um, I will have to eventually replace these plug wires because they are getting a little hard. And I mean, they've only been on the car for like a year and a half. So those will be up next after because I ordered the, the two things that I mentioned that I ordered. It's a new coil, which it's a Super SL, so it's much better than the stock. And a double roller timing chain, because when this thing starts, it does have this sort of a shake. And that is what's going to be next on the block of doing. So, um, I ordered from, it was uh, from Claysmith Cams, a new timing chain, like double roller timing chain, which that was pricey, but worth it for the stuff in the future and plus that that chain will like never give me issues so that's one of the reasons why i did it and also um yeah it's just the double rollers are so much better for when you want to make power and also they're less prone to stretching and stuff like that so you'll you'll be able to go longer without having to change your timing chain bear in mind it's the original chain in the car it's only got 120 encroaching 122k at this point but uh, kilometers on it however you know that's one of the things that i've wanted to do for a while but i just haven't done it um and you know i wish i kind of had a cam as well to throw in it then but i just i don't so i'm just gonna be a slow burn of putting parts in the car and no worries there like i'm at this point after this it should be done with everything um for now <clears throat> and then i can start saving again and start paying off my credit card because, yeah, she's hurting right now. Definitely hurting. But that's okay. Um, I get paid on Monday anyway, so it's not as bad. Actually, I might even get paid um, on the weekend, too, for that matter. Just depends on their schedule type idea. But anyways, it depends. Um, so, yeah. Well, anyways. And see if you guys can spot it, actually, when I start the car of how it kind of is. Because um, they kind of noticed this when I was up there, and that's why they have to do, do this timing chain. But we are putting the new coil on it just to confirm that it's not 
the coil as well is causing the other issue, which I'll explain after I show you this. harder to see but that shake that it did um when initially starting and that's likely from the uh timing chain so gonna replace that again it's the original one since 81 so it's high time to change it and a double roller is a much nicer setup but um yeah and because the issue that it's having when i drive it down the road and that's why we were thinking ignition as well so that's why i got the new coil um is when you're driving this thing down the road, and it's not when you're doing like a sort of full throttle thing or anything like that, um, it's when you're just trying to like maintain speed, like just slightly above idle really at that point. Um, and even throughout the rage, if you're not absolutely pinned, it'll kind of start to sputter almost. And it's, you know, like kind of sputter and stumble. So now we're going to uh, do that. And then I should fix that. These two things should fix that with any luck. And then otherwise, if this doesn't fix it, the only other thing is the ignition box itself, which is annoying, and then plug wires. So I'm kind of, uh, basically I'm at the mercy of this three, almost $300 in parts at the moment to fix this, hopefully. Just throwing more money at it, right? Just keep hucking it. Eventually, you're going to fix it, right? Because <laughs> we thought it was a carburetor, but I mean, don't get me wrong. The carburetor did need adjustments, stuff like that. And there was a bunch of dirt in the bottom of this, whatever else. So, cleaned it out. It was all good. Put different jets in it. And it's better now. It's much better. And it it has a snappier response, too, and everything. So, you know, which I am going to do a test, actually, today to see how much of a difference it made from previous to now. Because I do have uh, this little app called Drag Racer. It's a free app, and it's relatively close, actually, from what I can tell of actual, like, quarter-mile times and stuff like that. So, um, I will post, actually, probably on my community tab and on Instagram and even on my Facebook page of uh, the improvements that this has made so far with everything we've done. And we have not touched the timing yet at all uh, due to the fact that the distributor is seized in the block, which is a typical um, thing that happens with these Fords, actually. Fords are famous for this. So, unfortunately, you know, it's not a big deal. We'll probably be able to unseize it. It's just such a pain. And we were going to do timing last night, but we didn't. Um, we just, after working on the car a bunch, because, you know, I don't get me wrong, I, I did a bunch of, he did the carburetor stuff, I did everything else. Which, again, it wasn't much, you know, it was just, uh, um, you know, cap, rotor, plug wires, spark plugs, right? And I definitely do want to give a shout out to Roy Marco's Garage for helping me out with this. Um, and his buddy Sandy too. He, he helped out a little too. So it was honestly pretty cool. Because um, like Sandy basically just confirmed of what uh, Roy was thinking. Or they shifted it a little bit. Because initially he thought ignition. But then um, once he heard it start and just like that's a timing chain. Like immediately. Then he drove it around and then he's like yeah that's a timing chain. So it's nice to get a... Uh, more than one opinion on it, right? And, you know, at least I was correct, though, in the, 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 the jets were too big for it to be running rich. So that's nice, right? Very nice. Um, yeah, and then also, I am in contact with actually Flatla Auto Records, which hopefully they'll get me one of these and a price soon on... I'll show you. On a driver's side sale panel, because it flew off the car last week and i kind of like this isn't a want this is actually a need because um in behind that is insulation for the interior if water or if snow gets in there you know it melts that can cause big issues so we don't want that um so we got to get this done very quickly so i am in contact with flatlet auto wreckers um he's gonna get back to me uh dale was the guy's name that was emailing back and forth with me so 
hopefully we can figure something out there. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, just one of these things, right? I know, so this is the, because in, in looking at the, the original plugs, they were fouled, although we can clean them up and I still have the plugs. In case I need a spare set of plugs in the future, I'll just clean those ones up and use them. Just like the cap and rotor, again, I clean them up and use them. We just did an upgrade. That's all we did, right? So, and yeah, it is truly amazing. Um, and, you know, people's generosity and stuff like that, and Roy's especially, because he's such an amazing person. And, you know, not too many people out there like that anymore. So, and I really do appreciate his help with this, because he's been a big instrument in making my car what I want it to be, right? And we're still going to keep going. Like, um... These two things will be kind of the last of the upgrades for winter, pretty much. Um, and then in the winter time, we'll think about, or in the spring and summer, we'll think about doing even more to it. So, you know, I'll start saving up a little more money and, you know, then yeah, because we just need the, we need the car reliable, right? And it is reliable, but we just want to make sure, cross our I's, dot our T's, everything like that, uh, that this thing will make it anywhere I need to go. So. Yeah, and there you have it. Um, you know, it's a little short update, but you know, a good update because this thing is running way better. And like I said, I will uh, do a test today once this thing's warmed up and everything. I'll go check the mail, blah, 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 and see where this thing is at now for uh, performance. Because um, I kind of tried last night, but it was honestly kind of a whoopy whoop road. So I'll try again on my usual road. So uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, you know, please like the video. Comment anything you want to see down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you have a vehicle or a collection of vehicles I can film, please contact me at either Katarina's.garage on Instagram, Katarina's Garage on Facebook, or um, you can also email me too. My email is in my uh, about section as well. So anyways, uh, I appreciate you all watching this video and I'll catch you next time.